Hi and welcome in this movie. This is a movie about a device made by Solidron company. It's to talk about the fix of the U-boot bootloader used on the Qbox. In fact, on my Qbox I made an upgrade of the U-boot and the upgrade failed and my Qbox was broken. So this Qbox is not booting anymore and if I check the boot with a serial cable I see a black screen and nothing happens. In the wiki you can see a method to restore a U-boot, a Qbox with U-boot crashed. So we will see it in this movie in the first time. So let's go. You need a Qbox, a computer running Linux, Debian distribution, then an USB cable, classic USB here, plug on the computer, and at the other hand, a micro USB. This is the cable of my uh, Amazon Kindle, but another cable of good quality is okay, but the cable is the quality of the cable is important. So if we if you have transfer problem, check your cable and uh, test other USB cable. So we need to plug the USB on the last port here the micro USB port like this ok then on my computer I can see in the message that a new device FTD high USB serial device converter attach on TTY USB 0 ok so my computer detect my Qbox and my Qbox is not plugged on the power it's normal then I plug the power just on this side but not on, this, on the other for information this is an European French transformer and I don't plug it now and put it on the desk so my setup is very simple I have just it no USB, no Ethernet no HDMI no... oops <laughs> no... no micro SD card because I just need to um, burn U-boot U-boot so the techniques consist to transfer U-boot in the RAM random access memory with this your Qbox will be able to boot and this is a good news but if you unplug the power of the Qbox the RAM will be empty and U boot your new U boot will be lost so we need to load U boot in RAM and then burn U boot on the memory so first step loading U boot on the RAM so I have to file the last U boot Qbox Hynix Qbox 1 gigabyte uart.bin is the U boot file for my model of my Qbox. I have the 1 gigabyte model Qbox version 2. Then a little script burn U boot dot sh. So in this script we have has TTY, TTY USB 0, just set the speed, then has X, this is a um, program who use X modem to transfer file, has X my file, my reboot file.bin, and it transfer it on 
TTY USB 0. Then, if it's success, the script launch putty on TTY USB 0 with the correct speed. We can launch this script. Dot slash burn. Okay, this script is running, sending U boot, blah blah blah, and this script is waiting, waiting for an action about us with these tools. It's a little piece of wood. You must push the button, the left button here. Here it's a light, so on the left you must push the button, so it's tricky. Push, click, and now plug the power. And we can see you can release the wood, the little piece of wood we can release. It's plugging and now the script is transferring your boot in the RAM. When it's done, putty must be launched. You will see. Up here. It's fast, but my Qbox is booting and now <coughs> your boot is in RAM and in scanning about uh, USB device etc but you boot classic so this is the um, hand of the step one the step two consists in fact to do the same with an USB key an USB key classic USB key uh, in the FAT32 file system with some file in and you need to plug in on the upper USB port okay this port so the next step consists to plug an USB key on the upper USB port this port here so my USB key is on my laptop and on my USB key there is there is up, just is empty and just one directory named boot. These three files are available on the wiki. I will give the link. So it's a, it just a zip. You unzip it on the USB key. It's important to have the boot directory here and then eject the key grab the key and plug the key on the upper USB port here it's important we have the USB key on the upper USB port USB cable for putty and power but not plug on the power so we will do the same like burn your boot enter the script is waiting the action then with this piece of wood we do the same we plug in it in the button plug click and power it and then the and then a boot is transferring and for remember I can I can plug off the piece of wood so I have just this setup you can see your boot is loading in RAM in the front of your Qbox you don't have 
a red light now but when you boot will be completely load and when you will start up it's starting and the red light appears then my USB key will be scanned by Hubot you can see the blue light and now yes slash boot slash u image is loading and in fact is a kernel and init ram fs <coughs> and it's loading the u boot installer and now from the menu you must obtain an ip address from the http but it just consists to plug an cable uh, Ethernet cable like this on the Ethernet port like this you see the red light it's network activity under this cable I have a DHCP so now I can start obtain IP address ok sending discover ok so in the upper init IP address 10.0.0.14 etc so now I can choose to run the installer validate the choice and now I have a lot of choice about distribution to to install on my Qbox but I have a very very good option about uboot u dash boot flash uboot on the ESP flash and this is the result of our effort so with this menu you can flash uboot on the SPE flash and then uboot will be burned again on your Qbox and not only in the RAM so with this option your Qbox will be repaired I hope you enjoy the movie I hope it helps you and um, I would like to thank a lot Rabbi for this, this help this week about my problem on U-Boot and I would like to thank the Solid, Solid Run company for making great product and great embedded product I love it and it's very practical you can do a lot of stuff with that it's a very funny product and is very useful products. Thanks a lot for watching. It was Guillaume from France. Have a nice day.